What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates meets strength workout. If we've not met before, hi, my name is Margaret. I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor. All you need for today's workout are, I say all you need, but it's going to feel like a lot. We're going to be using two sliders. Uh, two medium heavy dumbbells. I have 10 pound dumbbells and then two lighter hand weights. I have my one pound ball of bangles. So grab all of those accessories and let's jump into things. We'll start off today just with a warm up like we normally do. Feet a little bit wider than the hips. I want you to press down into the heels, take a big roll of the shoulders to open up through your chest. Feel like your shoulder blades are just sliding down your back. From here, we'll take four deep breaths. Big inhale, little bend at the knees, circle the shoulders up and around, and then exhale out, we'll let it go. Three more like that, bend at the knees, inhale, circle the arms up and around, not arms, shoulders up and around, exhale, take it down. We'll go for two. And then last one. With that last one, arms will reach out into a T, you can walk your feet out a little bit wider. We'll take an inhale, shifting over towards the right, and then exhale, we'll pull to center. Inhale, we shift over towards the left. Exhale to center. One more each side, over towards the right. And then through center, we'll go over to the left. Through center, drop the arms down, bend at the knees, circle the arms up and around. And then exhale, hinge forward at the hips, come down toward your mat. Hands will come down, we'll take an inhale, bend at the knees. Exhale, press the hips up, two straight legs. Two more like that, bend at the knees and then press your hips up. Last one, we'll bend at the knees, and then we'll press all the way up. From right there, let's tuck chin to chest. We'll roll ourselves all the way up to standing. And then once you get up to stand, you get to stay there. We're gonna kick off our first circuit. First exercise we'll be doing is going to be a lunge. You need one slider and then one of your medium dumbbells. Take that dumbbell into your left hand, right foot forward, left foot on your slider. We'll lower down to lunge. You're gonna pull things in press that weight up overhead. We have about ooh, 10 seconds before we get into that. So get yourself situated. Okay, timer's gonna go off in five, four, three, two, and one. We lower down, reaching the weight down towards your foot. Exhale, you pull things in, you press that weight up overhead. Okay, we lower down, you can hinge at the hips. Exhale, pull things in, press that weight up. Good. I just got sliders off of Amazon last week. Can you tell I'm enjoying them? <laughs> That's always how you know, because you see a workout on YouTube with the sliders. <laughs> That's how you know I got something new and fun in the mail. Good. All right, we're doing good. We've got about 15 seconds right here. All right, just give me five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring everything in. You're keeping the slider where it's at, keeping your weight where it's at. Next, next exercise, we come down into our lunge. You'll reach your weight down. We'll pull the left leg in, row the left arm back. Okay, we have a little bit of time. Five, four, three, two, and one. We come back down into the right leg, hinging forward, left, right leg. Left leg is back. We pull in, you're gonna pull the elbow back, and then we reach everything back out. Exhale, we pull it in. Inhale, we'll reach it out. Whoop, don't lose your slider. That's always what I do. I feel like I put too much pressure on the slider that it won't come with me. Good, if you can look at yourself from this side, see what's going on through the back side of your body. I want the tailbone, your spine, and the crown of your head all in one nice long line. <laughs> Good, we've got about 10 seconds right here. Can you get a little lower in your right leg? You totally can, just five, four, three, two, and one. We'll stand all the way up. You can flip towards me. We'll keep our weight pressing over into the right leg. Left leg goes out by your side. This time we take a lateral lunge and then a high row, okay? I'll walk you through, don't worry. 
We've got four, three, two, and one. We lower down into that lunge on the right side. Exhale, you pull things in, row up towards the shoulder. Reach down, pull up. Good. Good. Now, as you guys can see, I have a Pilates reformer behind me. If you're not sure what that is, that's what that is. <laughs> Um, my plan here come May is to start filming some more reformer workouts. I have a plan. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but I'm planning on doing a reformer on the mat series where I share a reformer workout. And then in two subsequent days, I break down how those exercises can be done on the mat. We'll be using sliders, using equipment. So if you like this workout, you might enjoy what I have planned for May. <laughs> Stick with me for four, three, two, and one. We'll come all the way up. Take a second. Breathe. Whew. Okay. Next exercise, we're coming back down into our right leg, taking the um, left leg out. It's going to be another row. We'll pull in as we pull the arm up and then reach out. You've got two and one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come down into the right leg. You pull the left leg in, row back. Inhale, reach it down. It's a lot of rowing, I know. But we'll change it up once we get out of this first circuit. Now, same thing with the first round of exercises. We still have that hinge forward from the hips. Nice long line from the tailbone up the spine, out the crown of the head. Okay, we've got about 15 seconds right here. Breathe as you need to. Come up out of it as you need to. It's okay. I'm here with you. We've got it going. We're doing great. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring things up. We're putting the slider off to the side. I want you to grab onto your other weight. Okay, we'll get weights in both hands. Feet go about hips distance apart. We're going to do a squat to press. In five, four, three, two, and one. Pulling the weights to the shoulders, we inhale lower down to squat. Exhale, stand up, you press the weights up overhead. And of course I get cut out of frame, but you can tell what's going on. Okay, we're about halfway there. These workouts are always the hardest for me. I haven't filmed one in a while, so whew, ah, I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in. You can put the weights off to the side just for a second. We'll get back in, starting that circuit again from the top. This time, left foot forward, right foot back. Glab, or <laughs> glab, grab onto one of your weights. I'll flip, actually, I'm gonna stay facing this way. Okay, left foot forward, right foot goes back. <sighs> Timer already went off, okay? We inhale, lower down into our left leg. Exhale, you pull things up. We'll press that weight up overhead. We lower down, reach the weight down, pull things up. <sighs> Good. Okay. Circuit two is going to be building off of what we do in this first circuit. We'll be dropping the heavy weights, going down to a lighter weight, but building off of some stuff, doing, uh, I almost want to say like more explosive movements. Not jumping though, never jumping. And I, 
you're never going to hear me stop apologizing until we move out of this apartment. So sorry if you can hear Tyler. We've got four, three, two, and one. We stand everything up. Keep your weight in the right hand. Keep that left foot forward. We'll do a little kickback with a row. Okay, so elbows coming in. You're pulling the weight up toward your armpit. In five, four, three, two, and one. We take it low. You'll pull the right leg in, pull the elbow back, and then reach things down. Bring it in, press it out. Good. Now we're trying to keep the elbow tucked into the rib cage. Let me show you from this direction. We're pulling in, elbow comes in, weight comes to your armpit. Release it back out. Okay. <laughs> I'm sneaky. I needed a break. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm feeling like I just cannot go on. Good. We have about ooh, less than 15 seconds. Keep pressing heavy into that left leg just for five, four, three, two, and one. Stand all the way up. Take a second. Breathe. Okay. We'll keep our weight pressing over into the left leg. Whew. <laughs> we'll do our lateral lunge to high row. Whew. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. We lower down and then you'll exhale, row up. Reach it down and then row up. Good. Good. Okay, left leg should feel a little bit toasty, a little bit warm for sure. Oh, something got in my eye. We'll keep it going. It'll blink out. Good. As you lower down into that left leg, we're getting hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, all in line. Just for 10 more seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Take things in. Take a second. Breathe. My nose is runny. It's cold today in Colorado. <laughs> okay, we'll do our skater on this side. We pull up, take that high row. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. We keep our weight pressing over into that left side, lower down. As you pull the right leg in, we row up. You reach the right leg out, you take it down. Pull up, take it down. <sighs> Okay, if you need a second, take a second. It's a lot of work to continue to move through that left leg. So do what you need to do, absolutely. If you can hear Tyler, he's introducing himself right now. He's saying we're moving to Chicago in three weeks. Ah, it's not crazy. Good, just give me five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand up, toss that slider off to the side. Take a moment, we're grabbing onto both weights. We do a squat and press. I need a second. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, and one, you get weights into both hands, feet, hips distance, pull those weights up to your shoulders, inhale, lower down, exhale, press up, lower and press. Now I kind of like to rotate out through my shoulders and press up like this. That's what I like, but if you prefer to just press up straight, fine, totally fine. <sighs> Whew. 
Okay, take a second. We're going to make it. We're more than halfway there. I can do it. You can do it. We'll do it together. Pull those weights up. Lower down. Press up. Good. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Take everything in. Those heavy weights go off to the side. Now, <laughs> um, we won't use our slider for this series. Grab onto your lighter weights. Same kind of thing we did before. Okay, right foot stays down. Left foot's going to step back. Weights out in front of you. We'll lunge up, lower down. Timer's going off. Lunge up. <laughs> lunge up, lower down. <sighs> We'll be working a little bit more on balance for this circuit. Okay, still continuing to burn out through the legs. If the weights become too much, they're the first thing to go. We'll also be doing a little bit of standing core. Okay, it'll be kind of fun. You'll like it. Okay, I'm also going to link the playlist that I'm listening to in the, in the, in the description. It's a Dua Lipa playlist. I've had, I know some of you like music underneath. The reason I don't do that is because I get really mixed messages. We've got three, two, and one. Bring everything in, okay? Whew. Okay, we keep standing into our right leg. Left leg reaches back. We have a little hinge forward. Arms reach up. We're just pulling the left knee in, pulling the elbows in, reaching right back out. Okay, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Arms reach out, leg reaches out. Exhale, we pull the knee in, pull the elbows in. Standing crunch. Inhale, we go right back out. And you can tap the toes down. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, reach out. <sighs> Yeah, I get mixed messages on music in the background. I think more often than not, you guys like to listen to your own music, okay? So I'm going to start um, being a little bit more diligent about putting a playlist in the description. We have 10 seconds right here. Oh, just four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in. Again, you're going to flip this way towards me. We'll keep our weight pressing over into, um, let's see, we're going to go into the right leg. We're going to be taking, actually, let's walk the feet out wider. We'll do a lunge and then pull in. Timer's going off. We lower down, reach the hands out by your right leg. Pull it right back in. Step out. Bring it in. So your hands are just kind of rotating. You're looking down towards that left fingertip. So you get rotation through the chest. Pull it in. <sighs> I'm also keeping my fingers crossed. You guys can't hear the construction next to me, although you probably can. <laughs> like there's a reason I'm wearing a different microphone today <sighs> in hopes that it doesn't pick everything up. <sighs> awesome, just 15 seconds right here. <sighs> Almost like a wood chop with the arms. For five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Take things in. <sighs> okay. Now we're going to shift our weight over into our left leg. Right leg reaches out. Arms will go up. We'll pull the right knee in as we twist the arms over. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're balanced on that left leg. Reach the arms out. Pull the right knee in. Twist up and over to the outside of the right leg. Reach things out, create a diagonal line. Exhale, pull it in. Reach out, 
bring it in. See, what did I say? A little bit more balancing in this series or in this circuit. Still pretty fun though. Fifteen here. Good, we'll just go for five, four, three, two, and one. Take things in. Weights are gonna go off to the side. We'll get back to them as we move through that circuit one more time. Um, feet go hips distance apart, hands behind the head. We're gonna take a squat to twist, okay? Hands can also come up to the armpits. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, we lower down, and then you'll drive right knee to left elbow, squat left knee to right elbow. <sighs> Pace is 100% up to you. Now for me, this is kind of irritating my shoulders, so I'm gonna take my thumbs towards my armpits, squat and twist, squat and twist. Same exact thing, okay? My shoulders are just feeling real tight. <sighs> Whew. All right, less than 15. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in, take a second, reset. Same thing on the other side. We're grabbing back onto our weights. We'll start off with what I call a lunge and launch. Left foot forward, right foot back. Is your heart rate getting up? Mine sure is. <laughs> We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Left foot forward, right foot back. Reach the arms out in front of you. We lunge and launch. Lunge and launch. I can't remember what we did with the arms on the first side. It doesn't really matter. Just keep breathing. We're just about halfway there. Good, man, the minute of work time, it's tough, you guys. <sighs> 15 seconds. Good, 10. <sighs> Four, three, two, one. Bring everything in. Okay, how you doing? Hopefully good. <laughs> we'll keep our left foot down. Right leg's gonna reach back. We'll take our standing crunch. We've got a little hinge forward right here. Arms will go up. We'll pull the right knee in, pull the elbows in. And four, three. <sighs> pull the right knee in, pull the elbows in. Inhale, reach everything out. Exhale, pull it in. <clears throat> Excuse me as I choke on my own spit. <laughs> The glamorous life of being a Pilates instructor. <laughs> Reach out, bring it in. Okay, this is irritating my shoulders. Overhead's just not feeling great right now. So if that's you as well, just reach the arms out in line with the shoulders. Pull in, reach out. Pull in, reach out. You get a lot of work from right there. <sighs> Fifteen. Good. You're doing good. All right. Just five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. This time we walk our feet out a little bit wider. We're coming over into the left side. Hands will sweep down. We'll pull it up. 
Okay, I'll walk you through. If you don't remember what we did on the first side, it's fine. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. We'll step out with the left foot, sweep the arms to the outside of the right leg, and then pull everything back in. Sweep out, bring it in. Okay, we're getting rotation all the way up to the crown of the head. So your gaze can follow, I'd say your right fingertips, maybe even your left. Good. All right, just about 15. I feel like this circuit went by pretty quick. All right, I was gonna say five, but we're not there yet. We've got four, three, two, and one. Take things in, take a deep breath. Okay, we're shifting our weight over into that right leg. Arms reach up. We'll take our knee drive. Arms will just sweep out to the outside of the left leg. You've got three. <sighs> Don't listen to me. Just watch for the timer. This never gets easier. We're about halfway there. Okay, if you need a second, you take a second. Okay, 10 more seconds. We're doing good. Four, three, two, and one, bring things in. Weights go off to the side. One more time, we're doing a squat to twist. Then we'll be done with the second round of the second circuit. We'll get into our core circuit. We're gonna be using our sliders. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. I'm doing thumbs to the armpits, elbows out. We'll squat and twist, squat, twist, squat and twist. Pace is up to you. God, what is in my contact? <laughs> I'm like not doing great. Okay. We're going to make it through. Isn't that the worst when you're like in the middle of something, something gets in your eye, like you don't want to stop, but you also don't want to look like you've been crying. No, just me. Good. Okay. Ten more. Four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in. Take a second. Breathe. Okay, we're gonna come all the way down to our mat. One slider comes with you. We'll sit our butts down. Both heels come onto the slider. We'll draw in from the belly button, little C curve. We're just pressing the legs out, pulling the legs in, in two and one. We'll find that C curve in our spine, arms reach out. We press the legs out, we'll pull the legs in. That's all, press out. Bring it in. We're pressing the heels towards each other, pressing down into that slider, just enough that we can pull it in. Good, if you need to roll up a little bit out of the C curve, roll up out of it. If you'd prefer to take your hands behind you or forearms behind you, absolutely do it. Okay, we're more than halfway there. You're doing great. Okay, just about 15.
keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. We'll bring things in, grab onto both of your sliders. Okay, we're gonna pop up and over, coming into a plank, both hands down, both feet go to your sliders. Actually, let me flip this way so I can still see the timer. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands go down, both feet step to your sliders. Okay, we're just gonna pull one knee in, press it back, pull in, press back, whoop. This is where I lose the sliders. Good, shoulders staying stacked right on top of the wrist. We're drawing in from our low abs, in from the core to pull the knees in. Almost halfway there. <sighs> How many times have you guys lost your sliders right here? <sighs> Good. <sighs> All right. Keep breathing. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down, toss the sliders, or toss one slider at least, okay? We're coming back down into our seated position. Slider goes underneath the right heel. Um, left foot stays down. We'll start with the right leg sliding out. Hands go behind you, okay? So we're gonna lower down right here. You'll exhale, pull in. Timer went off. Pull that right leg in, press up off of the hands. Lower down, pull it in. Good. Is it obvious I didn't like that plank? <laughs> I have a hard time though with planks on carpet too. Um, big reason you don't see my mat today, my actual mat, is because sliders don't really work on the mat. Good, as you're rolling down, you're finding that C curve. You're not just letting your body weight kind of press down into your hands. Here. I'm like, where was I? 20 more seconds. Keep breathing. We're almost there at the end. You know when we get to the core circuit, it's almost done. Just three, two, last one. Bring things in, take a second. We're doing that same exact thing on the other side. Slider moves over to the left left heel okay right foot goes down you're sliding the left leg out hands behind you okay and you can start down about here or just pressing onto the hands we've got three two and one lower down a little bit find that c curve in your spine okay you start to press up as you pull the knee in you reach things out as you roll back <sighs> okay Again, if you really like sliders or you wanna try reformer Pilates but you feel like it's too expensive in May, I'm gonna be doing or starting to do reformer on the mat. I think that's gonna be the direction I take our workout videos. So if you don't have a reformer, it's not a big deal, right? Um, I'll plan on Monday's workout being a reformer workout. And then I'm thinking I'll do Wednesday, Thursday of that reformer workout, but on the mat, okay? <sighs> That's my plan and I'm hoping um, that will give us a little bit more direction so you guys can also probably learn something, you know, get a little bit more out of your workout, have a little bit more direction. We've just got five, four, three, two, and one. Take things in, we have one more exercise and you guessed it, it's gonna be a plank. We need both of those sliders. Hands will come down, feet will step back to the sliders. We're just gonna slide out and in out and in we'll do one side at a time okay you've got three two and one both feet to the sliders okay both hands down shoulders on top of wrist left foot slides out in right foot out in out in out in it can be big it can be small <sighs> As long as your shoulders stay on top of your wrist, doesn't matter how big you go. Good. And I'll give you guys a little cool down here. 
but I'll link a longer video if you want to try that. We're more than halfway. This one kind of breezed by. A little easier than the first plank. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I was going to say I'm losing my sliders less, but then I lost it. <sighs> All right, just give me five, four, three, two, and one. Knees drop down, untuck the toes, press your hips to your heels, finding a child's pose. Big inhale right here. Exhale out, we'll let it go. When you're ready, let's pull forward to a tabletop position. Knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. You'll inhale, arch the back, open up the chest. Exhale, press away, curve the spine up, looking to the tops of the legs, crown of the head down. For one more, arch the back. And then press away. Good. When you're ready from right here, you can pull everything in, just wrapping up in this seated position. Like I said, I'm going to link a longer cool down stretch up in the cards. Go and do that. I know stretching is sometimes the worst thing in the world, but go and do that. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. As always, if you did, please let me know. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you in our next video. I just get